Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be creating view frames in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll use the Create View Frames wizard to quickly create view frames along an alignment. View frames are rectangular areas along an alignment that represent what's displayed in the associated viewports on the layouts to be created. Before you create view frames you must have a desired alignment already in your drawing. Depending on the type of sheets you want to produce, whether it's plan or profile, you'll also need to have a profile already created. If you're creating plan sheets only, then you do not need to have a profile in the drawing. This exercise continues from configuring viewports. So let's go ahead and start by creating view frames. Go ahead and open up your plan production view frame create drawing in your tutorial folder. Now note that in the select file dialog box, ensure that the file type is set to drawing rather than drawing template. Go ahead over to the output tab. Next, go to plan production and then select create view frames. In the create view frames wizard, on the alignment page specify the following parameters. We're going to leave the alignment on Maple Road and the station range we're going to leave this on automatic. This setting selects the entire Maple Road alignment. Go ahead and click Next. On the Sheets page under the Sheet Settings go ahead and leave the setting on Plan and Profile. This setting creates sheets that display both plan and profile views for each frame. Now go under Template for Plan and Profile Sheet and click this button right here. Then click this button here. Then under your Template folder go into Plan Production. Select Civil 3D Imperial Plan and Profile. That will be our template. Click Open. We're going to leave our sheets at 40 scale. So click OK. For view frame placement, go ahead and leave it on its default of along the alignment. This setting aligns the view frames along the alignment as shown in the graphic in the wizard right here. Go ahead and check the box to set the first view frame before the start of an alignment. We're going to change this to 50. This option sets the distance that the first view frame is placed before the start of the alignment. Entering a distance here provides the specified amount of space before the alignment starting station. This distance ensures that the alignment start location does not coincide with the start of the view frame. If this checkbox is not selected, then the first view frame is placed at the start of the alignment. Go ahead and click Next. Now we're in the View Frame Group page. View Frame Groups are created automatically. This page lets you specify the object creation criteria for the View Frame Group object. You can go ahead and examine this page, but accept the default settings for this exercise. Go ahead and click Next. Now we're on the Match Lines page. Match Lines are straight lines that are drawn across an alignment and plan view to create where the corresponding sheet for the alignment begins and ends. Match Lines typically include labels that can identify the previous and next sheet along the alignment. Examine the settings that are available on this page, but accept the default settings for this exercise. Go ahead and click Next. On the Profile Views page, specify the following parameters. Under Profile View Style, select Major Grids. And then under Band Set, select Stations Only. Now we can go ahead and create our view frames. You can see now that the view frames, which are these blue rectangles, are displayed along this alignment. 
The match lines are also displayed as annotated lines between the view frames. In the tool space, under the Prospector tab, expand the view frame groups. Notice that within all of these collections, they contain the same components you created during the view frame group creation process. Now, go ahead and right click on one of the view frames. Notice that you can go ahead and zoom to that view frame. And then you'll also notice that you can create a sheet based off that view frame. In the upcoming exercises, you'll create sheets for all of the view frames. So that's how you go about creating view frames in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.